we are back for our third third and final step which is clear uh, dark wax dark wax and it yes it looks like that it's actually pretty soft this is a super old can the old that is um, and what I like to have is a handy steel wool. Steel wool. Um, I don't know what grade this is, but it's it's bendy. It's not um, super stiff. And I like to have a, a cloth. So there's a cloth right here. Greta has a cloth. There's also a random sock here, but that Owen might have just delivered that because Owen likes bringing down dead socks like dead birds um okay so Greta the, what you need to know about dark wax is that it's it's very similar to what we did with our sanding it really is only to highlight and to kind of like play up the whole idea of it being a really old piece now people can go way too heavy on the dark wax and one of the main rules and one of the main things that I would suggest staying away from is that you don't want to all of a sudden take your dark wax and go on a flat surface. It's going to look terrible. It's good. Well, okay. It won't look terrible. I'm sorry. It's going to look really, um, uh, muddy. It's going to look really muddy. Um, I've learned throughout the years and which is fine, which is fine if that's what you're going for, for sure. Uh, but I've, I've, that's fair. Um, but what I've learned throughout the years, Greta, don't leave, <laughs> is um, I like to just go on the go on go on the on the edges, just like we did, almost exactly where we did with our um, sanding. Sorry, it's the end of the day. I'm cooking dinner, and I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh gosh, is this? Oh, interesting. Okay, so our wax is a little bit dried out. Do we have any more wax in the? I, can't I don't open think it. so. So we're we're gonna still dig into it and see 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 if we can. It's like the it's just like the clear wax. Mine just happens to be stiff. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go for this. Should I like? Heat it up? No. Well, you can't heat up a metal can, Lovey. Right? <laughs> so just try to get some on your cloth. Okay. And I like, again, I like a cloth because I think it's, you can control it a little bit more. And again, have your steel wool there. Okay. So, Greta, this is what you want to do. I know you're trying to fix, fix that, but you know what? This is, this is how you do vintage. You, you, I'm impatient. I don't want to wait. I don't want to figure it out, figure out the glaze. I want to just do it, right? So we're going to, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're, we're really just going to, it almost comes out like a crayon. And you can see how dark that goes on, right? And it's like, mm, it's pretty dark. It's pretty cranny. But look, watch this. I take my steel wool and I get to control it. I get to control how it goes on. Now, obviously you can see some of the paint came off. If you don't want that, go a little bit lighter with your steel wool. Um, I, I don't think you need a lot of dark wax. I always say just less is more for real. You see Greta, it's just like a, just like a slight. And, <laughs> And I would say like on our surface, I was gonna do it really big just to show you how muddy can look, but I'm just gonna do a little bit on the surface to show you that yes, we were doing it and to highlight this little spot, but it looks kind of muddy. She's going over it again. Um, you can see it did add some more scratches. Again, that adds to the look. If you hate what's happening here, if you find it, it's too much, too scratchy, you're really not into it, guess what? You don't have to do the dark wax. Just don't do it. Um, that's your answer right there. And I will remind you that you, she's gonna have, oh, we talked about this, she's gonna have stuff on her table. So it's not just going to be 
you're not gonna just you're not gonna notice every little scratch right um, I would suggest for our little um, details here I think a little bit of wax kind of looks cool um, it looks a little more dated that way again you don't have to go crazy Freddie, you want to just play with it and see what mm -hmm. you think I know our, our wax is not perfect, but if you just dig in a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to say to her to play. All right. And, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let her go for it and decide again, it's, you're not, it's not the end of the world if she puts on too much and she doesn't like it because you can paint over it. Um, you could sand over it. It's just gonna take a little bit more more time right so again less is more um i'm gonna have all of this the befores the afters the videos on blue egg brown nest you can check them all out all the videos are going up on my youtube channel where you can see me in my um early days uh teaching all teaching people how to chalk paint I think it's from I don't know 2012 maybe um, but all the videos are up there and um, and thank you to all all the people that have said that I have taught them how to paint and inspired them I think that is so fun I just feel so blessed by all of my readers and connected to all of you so thank you thank you um, I also you can check check out some of the video check out the videos on Instagram as well so and Facebook Instagram Facebook YouTube and blue egg brown nest um, real quick before I leave I also just want to tell you that Luckett's spring market is going to be held this year it's actually going to be in the fall um, VIP tickets are now on sale and I am gonna have a, a booth there this year um, I've taken a few years off, but I think it's going to be fun to do it. Greta's going to help me probably sell some of her own um, wares as well. So um, we're really excited about that. I don't want to give you the wrong date, so just check out Luckett's or check out Blue Eyed Brown Nest, and you will um, see the details. I think it's October 15th. Okay, love you guys.